Hello everybody, this is Moon Productions. And it's a bit echoey in here, yes. But I'm sorry, it's a bit echoey. I have nowhere else to film just because everybody is super rude here. I guess I don't know why. Hmm. So, well, anyway, let's do a review. Sorry, it's super echoey, but I have no choice. So, um, yeah, I should have uploaded this yesterday, but that's because I couldn't find a way of filming this perfectly until, like, I, this, this was my only choice. So, uh, sorry, but that's all I have. So, why don't we look into the Doctor Who episode that's most forgotten from the Whovian fandom? And that is the Centauran Experiment. Yes. Yes, the story that was forgotten by many Whovians. Which is sad, for at least, because most people do like this episode. But this one's just really short. They can just... It's basically just a nice entire story. It's sad. They're just using Sarah Jane as as a as a a, a, thing, a thing just to uh, engage with the Centauri. It's all they do, but that'll be one of the men dead and Sarah Jane alive, but the Centauri roaming around. Not a very wise choice, Doctor. And which that happens. The Doctor has to find a way of having the Centaur roaming on Earth and getting out of there and back to the ship. So what happens there is that, um, well, I haven't actually seen the episode, so I never know what it is. Okay, came back from watching it and realized that the Centaur realized that he has no time for this kind of metal. And so he just leaves at the end of the story. Which, um. Yeah, Doctor Who? I'm gonna be honest, I think this is where, one of the points where one of the writers were lazy to write a story for Doctor Who. At that point. I just think it's But still, the story is in. It's just lazy. Like. Just have him try to appear, make a bunch of money until he just leaves in the story. It's just because he has, doesn't have time for this. And it's just, it just feels lazy. I'm gonna be honest here. Yeah, but this is my opinion. And so I'm gonna get a rating. My rating will be for. So this Doctor Who is actually like a two part only. Which makes sense because the episode does feel lazy. And only having two parts and having a really, really weird paste and really lazy ending at the end. And then, like, let me just give it a rating. So I'm going to have to give this a 7 out of 10 just for being, it's not inspiring. It's not like, it's not kind of like Dr. Tom Baker tries to do everything to make the story great. I appreciate that. So that's why I'm gonna get the 7 and 10, because it's really lazy, it only has two parts, and uh, yeah, that's it. Like, there's other two parts that are done greater than this. Other ones are like, The Edge of Destruction, um, what else, Black Orchid, or, I don't know. But those have been done better, I guess, more better than this. And um, I don't know why they couldn't have done anything better with this story, so um, I feel bad. But uh, that's my review, you guys. So uh, see you guys later. I'm sorry for the noise. But I'll see you guys later in Biz Humor Productions.